Hello Internet! It is Tuesday, June 28th. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, I was going to record this inside the engineering building because it's quieter in there, but apparently today is the day that they're, like, dropping things down this weird elevator shafty type construction inside, and while it is kind of interesting to watch this gigantic metal thing go flinging down a chute really, really fast. Uh, it was kind of distracting while I was vlogging, and I wanted to make sure that I vlogged today because yesterday I promised to talk about the labyrinth, and so I'm gonna keep my promise, and today I'm gonna talk about the labyrinth. Um, hopefully you all went and watched it last night just for reminiscing's sake, or however you would say that so that it's correct. Wow, that's a loud bus. Um, I saw the labyrinth for the first time when I was nine years old in the summer before the fourth grade, and we, we rented it because these kids in my third grade class had told me that, oh no, that's a dirty movie, you can't watch that, my parents won't let me watch The Labyrinth because it's dirty and it's not appropriate for children. And I came home and I told my mom this, so immediately we had to go out as soon as school was out and I couldn't tell the other kids that we had watched it and get, you know, a whole bunch of other irate parents all over her. Um, we went and we rented it and we watched it and after we watched the movie for the first time, my mom looked at me and said, you know, the only thing that I can think of that is not appropriate for this movie is David Bowie's pants. And maybe his hair. But his pants are a little inappropriate for you, I think. And of course, because I was nine, I didn't really know like what she meant. Like I knew, but I didn't know what she meant. Because I was, you know, far more focused on the Muppets. And, well, they're not really Muppets, but the Jim Henson puppets used to create this world. And they're all so fascinating. My very favorite Labyrinth character is Sir Didymus. I love Sir Didymus. He is my very favorite part of that movie. And my favorite moment in the movie is when he climbs up on top of Ludo's head and calls Ludo a mountain and then starts whacking him with his stick. And I like Sir Didymus because he's kind of like me, I guess. And that we tend to make things more complicated than they need to be in the name of being right and good and steadfast and, and all of those noble things. And, and so I guess I identify with him on some level. Plus he's just funny. And that is also another loud bus. But I wanted to make sure that I talked a little bit about the labyrinth today because I promised that I would and I wanted to make sure I got this vlog done before trivia because tonight is my last night with Will for a couple of weeks. He leaves for the Netherlands at the um, crack of dawn. We'll just say crack of dawn. So we have to get up very, very early so that we can take the train to the airport. So I had to get this done now so that I could spend some time with him after trivia. And that's it for today, guys. I will talk to all of you again tomorrow. Wow. Public transportation, not the quietest way to travel. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you, as always, for watching. I really do appreciate it. I promise. See you later.